Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to draw the uh, carbon disulfide or the CS2 uh, Lewis dot structure. So we have CS2 carbon disulfide, and it's going to give us, see, carbon gives us four valence electrons plus two sulfurs, which each of those is going to give us six. So the total of that is going to be 16 valence electrons. So what we do, and just, since it's a central atom, we uh, subtract out the, the largest number, of, largest multiple of eight out of this total, which is going to be 16, gives us zero, and that is eight times two. So that means that this this uh, compound is an A X two E zero, where the zero comes from. This zero comes from this, and the two comes from the two here, because two times A is 16. So that means that you have the A, which is the central atom, the carbon, and then you have X2, where X is the surrounding atom. So this, in this case, it's going to be the sulfur. So you have the carbon in the center and two sulfurs. So first, let's go ahead and connect each one with a single bond, and then we can surround each sulfur with the remaining amount of electrons. Now notice, this gives us 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So that seems to be right. So we can check the formal charges on this, and if you do that, you would see, well first we can see, you're always trying to get an octet, which means eight electrons on each atom in the compound. And obviously carbon here does not have that, because this is only two and four. So what we want to do is move this pair and make this a double bond, and move this pair and make this a double bond. So now let's go ahead and check the formal charges and see how, how it turned out. Formal charge of the carbon, remember formal charge is the number of valence electrons brought in, so that's four, minus the number of bonds, one, two, three, four, minus the number of uh, lone electron pairs, and there's zero. So that means the formal charge in the carbon is zero, so that's what, that's what we want, it's good. Now the formal charge on each of the uh, sulfurs, S, remember it's going to be six for the valence electrons, minus number of bonds, one, two, and then minus the number of lone electron pairs, so yeah, or lone electrons, one, two, three, four, so minus four, and that also gives us zero. And, and that's gonna be the same for each of the two sulfurs. So since the since both formal charges are zero, that's what that's what we're looking for. Okay? So now let's go ahead and look at the shape. Since it's AX2, that is going to be a linear shape. And uh, the uh, hybrid orbitals of the central atom, the carbon, since there's one, there's one, two things attached to it, so it's going to be sp hybrid orbital, one, two orbitals, one, two things attached, and now we can check for the polarity, and it's in, in this case, since it's linear, and both of the other atoms, the outside atoms that are attached to the center, are the same. They're going to cancel each other out. They're different electronegativities, but they're equal, so they're going to cancel each other out. So this is, in fact, going to be non-polar. And the uh, the bond angle between here is going to be 180 degrees. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, please let me know. And um, leave me a message, comment, whatever. Thank you, and thanks for watching.